how the hell is everyone doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed your um, few months off. Now we're heading back to duck season. Duck season. Duck season's right around the corner. So today, folks, I'm locating this high-profile cable hitter, 750 line, man. I'm gonna show you the right way how to locate this line. All right, folks, back to the basics. Anytime you're locating power, especially these bad boys up there, 750 lines, you wanna make sure you get out to the U-guard. And this is the U-guard right here. Make sure you attach your leads to the U-guard here. You never want to touch the ground itself, like someone did it over here. And the reason is, because if something up there wants to go bad, all that force up there, that cable wants to fall out, all that force up there is going to come down into this ground here. Right into this ground, all the way down. And all the force and energy will travel through this small little wire here. If you're on this wire or monkey around with this wire and something wants to happen up there, you're going to get lit up. No questions about it. You're going to get lit up and it, it's all over with. So make sure always direct connect onto the U-guard. Hook it onto the U-guard. You want to look on both sides with the U-guard to make sure the ground strap is on it. So like on this side here, I don't see the ground strap. So you go look around for the ground strap. So I'm looking up, I'm looking up, and boom, there it is. And there is a ground strap. So, there, so that's ground, that U-guard is grounded to the ground here. You can see it's grounded, so I know I can locate off this U-guard without having any issues whatsoever. If that U-guard wasn't grounded like that, there's no way in hell you'll be able to locate the 750 line. You won't get a tone on it, and what a lot of locators do, They'll force the tone on it, and the next thing, they're, they're picking up a transmi transmission line. They're bleeding out to something else besides their cable. And we got a lot out here. We got transmission lines out here. We got big gas pipelines out here. It's easy to pick those up if you're not paying close attention to what you're doing when you're marking out power here, folks. So make sure, always expect a pole. They don't see no brown stains, nothing going on in that pole. If you do, you want to escalate it. You don't want, you don't want to even touch this pole if you saw any kind of burning or any fire that created up here. So always expect to pull before you even um, direct connect. So what I always do before I hook onto this pole here, I always ground out first. You want to ground out. Because like I said, if something wants to happen up there, the U-guard and this will get lit up. So ground out first so, you, so you're not grounding yourself out first. And then what I do, I turn on this box. And then I'll direct right to the U-guard, because I know this side here, it's grounded. This U-guard's grounded. Direct connect to it, really cautiously. Take your time. Look at my box. I'm pushing out 100 milliamps. So I'm basically about 30 feet away from everything. And I'm gonna do a 360 sweep. nothing just because it's moving doesn't mean nothing you want to make sure the peak bar goes up and back down then you know you're on your target if it goes it goes off the graph it goes back down then you know you bypass your cable so I got no tone out this cable so I'm gonna go a little closer and see what I see what's going on Wow. Uh -huh. 
So at this point here, I can't get a tone off the U guard here. And it's going into this, it's going into that manhole here. So what I have to do, and you folks should do the same thing, you don't rely on power mode. If you can't get a good tone on it, you what you guys gotta do, you gotta escalate it. So so right after bed, I'm gonna escalate this pole number to the power company to give get me access into the manhole that's across the street that feeds this that feeds this um, pole pole line right here. Cause I cannot get a tone on it by direct connect. So I need the power company to get me on this cable, bring it back to the pole so I know that's exactly where the cable's at. So folks, remember that, safety always first. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please, please leave it in the comment below. You guys have a great day. Be safe out there.